Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Melanie or Shisha Scrapper. So today I am back with a catalog flip through of the new September through October 2023 catalog, as well as a haul video of what I got from the catalog. So we will get started. Operation Smile is a great opportunity to donate to uh, the charity and you get the stamp set there. Cut above are quick and easy layouts. Everything is cut for you. Um, there's no cutting required. You just need the photos and adhesive. And then the new, the Good Life paper or collection. So great colors in this collection. I love kind of the rustic feel of it as well. And then here are the products. So you have the paper and the sticker sheet, which I will show you. You can also get the coordinating card stock, which for some reason I did not this time. And now I'm kind of thinking I should have because I don't have, I don't really have many. I would like the mist, I think, and maybe the mocha or the toffee. But here is the sticker sheet. What I love about these stickers for Close to My Heart are there are great title options. There's usually some sort of flag, border stickers down at the bottom, and then different sized pieces as well. Um, so smaller buttons, journaling pieces, and then all the phrases at the top. So I really like the kind of diversity of the sizes and what is included in the sticker sheet. And then the papers in the collection. I love how this is just looks rustic, like I mentioned. You have the front and the back. And again, the zip strips go all the way across the top, which is great. And then this must be mocha. Again, just kind of a distressed look here on this striped paper, which is nice. And then a fence that goes all the way across the top. And you can never go wrong with a wood grain looking paper and kind of like a mixed media looking paper as well. And just another great uh, zip strip across the top there. So that is the paper and the sticker sheet. Uh, the die cuts, I did not get the die cuts. I had them in my cart, but again, kind of had to limit what I purchased. So those ended up going back, but these are uh, wood grain paperboard die cuts. So they're not too thick, thicker than cardstock, but not, not really not thick at all, but a good quality. And then we also have this digital life um, or the good life digital art collection. So you get the digital art collection. If you have the Cricut silhouette, whatever you have for um, the electronic uh, cutting, you can download all of these. You have all of these options. There's two card options. There's a two by two. two. My goodness, a double page layout. <laughs> um, and then the, all the extras as well. And then you have the card making stamp set. It is kind of sympathy. Um, I like this little river. That wouldn't necessarily have to be... Um, you know, sympathy or really even a card that would be a great option for um, a layout as well if you're in the river or whatnot. And then the stamp, scrapbooking stamp and thin cuts here, we did get that. Um, so you get the truck, these different uh, fence options, and then the bike and the windmill uh, and different little sayings as well. And all the ones that are backed in the tan are the ones that come with the thin cuts um, or the blue on the actual uh, stamp. And then you can also just get the stamps. You don't have to get the thin cuts with it. This is the scrapbooking workshop. So a scrapbooking workshop, you get all the supplies you need for these three layouts here and um, exclusives to the workshop as well. There are all of these die cuts or exclusive papers that come with it and instructions that are really easy to um, follow and really easy for these layouts put together. I love these layouts, but again, I needed to limit what I bought this month. 
and then the card making workshop so again you get some exclusives uh the stamp set which is super cute and then whatever paper and this one comes with silver glitter gems as well um, and you do get the cards and the envelopes this is the home for christmas collection i can't believe we're already going to christmas but again this is the september and october collection so we are inching our way there so i did get some of this so we'll bring out the sticker sheet again the card stock you can get that as well that one is french vanilla black pine and candy apple so let's see the sticker sheet again you get all kinds of uh great title stickers some banner stickers phrase stickers love that little banner journaling bits um and then smaller embellishments as well and then the papers you get the black phrase paper and then a green just subtle pattern there and a present zip strip all the way across a red plaid and then just a wood grain again cannot go wrong with wood grain and then the greenery all the way across for the zip strip and then again your busier paper here with all the icons you could definitely fussy cut those if that is something you enjoy and then the poinsettias and then the simple zip strip all the way across and then I did get the die cut so they are all paperboard but you get candy apple pine and black um, and you can layer them like shown like they are shown they don't come layered or put together they just come in you can see kind of the three pieces you just punch them out and layer them and put them together so love those and again here's the digital art collection for um home for christmas so a one page layout and then it looks like card and an envelope but all of these different icons you get two for the digital art these stamps are amazing i love these so this is the card making one and you can see how you kind of layer the fireplace together and it has texture with it which i think is genius and then so that's the card making and then the stamp or scrapbooking one i ended up buying i think this is adorable so what you do you have all these different options for your presents and then these bows and ribbon are your thin cuts so you cut those out with a thin cut and then layer them on top and make your present and i just think it is so cute plus you get titles and this little stamp i thought was adorable so what they did i'll pull it up for you guys to look these Im images maybe it's holly well, i don't know i struggle with my greenery so i apologize but they stamped this on the stamp right there and i think that is so cute and then you can kind of see the present so they stamped it with the pine and then cut the ribbon in the scarlet and glued it on and it's just it's so fun so i can't wait to play with those Oop, making a mess easy to do this one i had to put back out of my cart but i do really want this one so we'll see <laughs> i think these scrapbooking layouts are gorgeous so same thing as i described earlier um this is the scrapbooking workshop so you do get everything you need for these three and i think these three layouts are just perfect i love the black and white with just the accents of this one i love the scallops and then the scallops with the bows at the top so super cute and then you have the card making workshop again everything you need to make these cards and the exclusive um stamp and thin cut set the mix in paper i thought i put this one back and i was as i was going through the catalog earlier i was kind of bummed so i'm glad that it was in my box <laughs> i did not put this one back so what the mix in paper pack is is it is a paper pack designed to 
kind of go with each of the collections or both of the collections in the catalog. Um, so you can kind of see the color schemes here would go with either of the collections. So if you only got one but wanted more papers, you know, the greens would be perfect with either. You can't go wrong with wood grain or black. So you do get just one of each in the mix and paper pack. So I'll go through those real quick. Another wood grain, which again, can't go wrong with. I like this one. That one's fun. And then just a, ooh, look at that zip strip. I like that one. Green and black. Nice plaid. And then just a kind of a textured looking paper. Another kind of just textured paper, which is a great background. And then your black. And your black. So that's the mix in paper pack. Those colors are scarlet, pine, toffee, mink, French vanilla, and black. Now there are more stamps and thin cuts. So here are some card making stamps and thin cuts I think are great. So you have different options for your sentiments. And then this is coming. I had to order it later. It wasn't available when I placed my first order. But this is the Blooming Frame Card Front. Look at how easy it makes those cards for you. Um, you just cut it out, back it, put your sentiment in the middle, and there's your card. So super easy there. Some more kind of card sentiments um, and designs. Kind of this floral wreath here with the sentiments. And then you have freshly picked stamp and thin cuts and locally grown stamp and thin cuts. I'm trying to remember what I ordered. None of those yet. Um, so again, great for fall coming up. I just, I have a hard time personally buying such themed stamps, even though I know we do apple picking almost every year. So that I would use them, I'm sure, and get use out of them. But again, I still have yet to color in stamps, so I think that's why I shy away as well. This one is great. Let's go stamp set. So it is just the stamp. You don't get the thin cuts with this one, but you do get some sentiments. And then let's see what it says. So... These you use to stamp different types of balls in the figure's hand. So that's what those two little icons are. And then this is the Nailed It Stampin' Thin Cuts. So if you do any type of home improvement, this is the stamp and thin cut for you. I think it's adorable. Lots of great phrases as well as little icons as well. And really you could, I don't know if that cuts out in the toolbox, but you could cut that out and kind of stick your tools in the toolbox. This one, I'm a sucker for background stamps, guys. <laughs> uh, so I had to get this one. Design element stamp set. I love the crackled look. Can never go wrong with stars. Look at this wood grain. I think this is adorable. You can make a sign out of it. You could use it for your background. I just knew I had to get this one right away. So I purchased that one. And then this is on the clock stamp set, which I do think it's super cute in the layout. I think they did a great job and it coordinates with the circles, thin cuts that we offer as well. Floral note stamp and thin cuts. So again, some great floral pieces and then some sentiments. Um, and then you can get the sentiments, but then you can also get this ready to gobble stamp and thin cut there. You can stamp on the kind of uh, picket. Again, some great stamp sets for Christmas cards or fall cards, Thanksgiving cards. These ones are super cute. So you get the Christmas kind of card ones up here, um, which I guess you don't really have to. That's not really that uh, focused or directed at cards. You could definitely stamp that on any layouts. But then this one is so cute. Holiday Express Stampin' Thin Cuts with all the animals. You can connect them. So it's like a train. You get the lights. 
Um, and then the sentiments and the little Christmas trees. I thought that was super cute. And these ones too, Story of the Season stamp set. So again, no thin cuts here, but such great options for layouts. Um, a great like stamp. And then I love this December. Ooh, look at that. They made their own paper. That's what that is. They used this December and stamped it tone on tone and made their own paper. That is cute. I like that. And then this one, Countdown to Christmas, thought this was adorable as well. And it says it coordinates with the circles, thin cuts again. So this is the Christmas florals embossing folder, Christmas floral stencils, and then a holiday banner stamp and thin cuts. We're getting to the end. Oh, I love these new um, alpha bet stamps options this cursive so this is the dainty script i think that is super cute and then christmas alphabet stamp set so again really cute christmas alphabet i think that's adorable and you can see that the uh, cursive really fits in together really nicely they had to have fussy cut those but they did a really nice job piecing those together so super cute and then the stamp of the month. So this one is September, uh, thoughtful token stamp set. Great kind of background options as well. But starting in October, you can actually get thin cuts with your um, stamp of the month. So the stamp of the month, you can buy just by itself, but if you have a qualifying order of $50 or more, the stamp by itself is $5. Or now you can get the stamp and the thin cuts for $22.95 with that qualifying order. So we did pick up this with the owls and the um, sayings, which is so cute. I love how you can have them perched on that limb. So just another fun option they are bringing out starting with the October stamp of the month. And then again, here are all of the colors. There are new colors that just released or will release. Actually, the colors did release, the inks did in August. So keep your eye out for those. So we've got Journey, Rosie, Royal, Jade, and Limeade, and Pumpkin, and Acorn are the new colors. So again, all of these colors, you can get cardstock, you can get the stamp pad or the reinker. So that is the brand new September and October catalog. Um, I have a release or a video up of the essentials catalog that starts September 1st as well. So keep your eye out for that. Um, I will try to link that up above for you and I'll have a link for this catalog and the different collections down below if you are interested. I appreciate all of your guys' support and we will see you next time. Bye guys.